All right, so I bought this uh, rat bait on Amazon, apple flavor, bait blocks. Um, you can see they got those little holes in them. That's so that you could thread them through like a line of sorts for different types of bait traps. I also got gloves because I don't like to touch those things. I don't think that's a good idea, even though I've seen people handling them. So anyway, um, I made these two DIY um, rat bait stations. And I used four inch PVC tube. And for each one of them, you know, of course, you got the three way connector there and a cap. Um, I cut about two inches twice and then cut these, uh, you know, I cut the tube in half, basically. Let's see. So that's a tube right there. This right here is just a little two inch or three inch piece of tube that I cut in half. And you get a hair dryer. And then you can bend it into the new shape and drill some holes here on the inside through, you know, through here, put some zip ties so that you can basically make a stand to hold these things up because they're gravity fed um, bait stations. So I'll show you how. If you look down the tube there, you can see the bait hanging. See the bait blocks? They're just hanging there. Um, so what you do is. You drill a little hole in this cap, and then you feed the bait along. Let's see what I can do this with my phone. My phone in my hand. <laughs> Let's do this one. All right. So this one coming right up. You can see how I. I just took like a, a, a fence wire that you use to secure fencing, and I cut it to size. Just put a few bends around it. And uh, that holds it. So basically what you have at the end of the day is a gravity fed scenario where the rats will enter either side, eat some of the bait, and then the next block will fall down. So as you know, the reason why we make bait stations is so that children and animals, dogs, cats, whatever, can't get to the bait. Um, so I don't have any little puppies or little cats, kittens or whatever. So I was using four inch tubes because I got some big rats. Um, but if you got some little puppies or something, you could probably put a, a step down adapter right over here. Let's say bring that down to three inches or two inches even. Um, and then just keep that until your little puppies get big and then just pop that cap right off. Or you could probably improvise something else to make the hole smaller until your puppies or kittens get a little bigger and then they'll be sure not to get in there. Um, so the length I did for each line here is about 20 inches. That's one foot tall, that tube, and these two are uh, about 20 inches each. I did that because I measured my kids' arms and uh, mine too, basically. And so no person should be able to stick their hand down in there and and grab that bait. Um, so it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. I think my uh, my handyman here will have no problem uh, making this thing work. Um, what on earth am I doing now? Did you know that if you take a hair dryer and put it to PVC, that you can bend it and then it'll get cold again. It'll take the new shape. So you can make infinite shapes of pvc when it's hot watch what's gonna happen with this thing look at that look at that you see see look what i made yeah what is that now I don't know. let that get cold for a second and it'll be like this one so as you can see i did other ones before which basically acts like stands to hold this contraption up, which is four inch PVC there. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Just a little uh, DIY rat bait station I wanted to share um, because I've only seen about one video about this kind on YouTube and I thought this was a, uh, a great thing to put out there. So I hope this, uh, if you build this thing, I hope this can help you with your rat problems.